we are out here. This is the John E. McCown Memorial Car Show, and we've got a 70, 1979 Mazda RX-7. It's got the rotary. We start at the back of the show today. We'll get around it. Doors open, hoods up. We'll get in it. Well, I'll leave it open for you. Yeah, I want to get the interior on this. Here it is from the rear. Get the interior. It's the interior on that RX-7 with the rotary. Seats. The back's open, you can see that. Here's under the hood on the RX-7. Let's get it. There you have it. Get all over it. What year is this one? 72. Yours this is 72 as well. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, we have a 72 Opal. This is the same one that we saw. He was about to autocross it that day out at... I think it was only on the sneak peek, actually. So this might not have been on the channel already. I'm going to get... Well, there's the Jeep. There's that. And I'll get on the inside of it. Here's the interior on that opal. There it is. I know it's a little bleached out, but that's. I just. I wanted to get the dash and all that. Next to it is another. He said this is another 72. This one's all set for. For racing. He said he he autocrosses this as well. There's that one for. There's that. From the back. Here's under the hood on that other 72. This one is, uh, it's got numbers on it and everything. But there's under the hood on this Opal over here. A pair of Opal. They said they, they have a group and they wanted to try and get more of their group to come out today, but today it's just the two of them. Some good detail on this thing. <laughs> the show's a little bigger than I thought it was originally. Got the Toxagoon out here. I think I've seen this one before. A lot of attention to detail on this. We'll get her on the back. He's got a mirror under the hood. Let's color the inside here. Here's the back of that. Here's the trunk area on that. They got a, they got a, they got an unwilled. Here's the interior on the Toxagoon. Let's see all kinds of details done in here. There's that. <coughs> Go under the hood here. This is a Riviera. This is a 69 Riviera. This thing is pretty clean, like showroom quality. It just came off the showroom floor. Got the owner here, maybe we get a story about this 69 Riviera. The owner tells me this is a, a three owner car. It has been restored. This car has been restored. 
Yeah. Under the hood on the 69 Riviera. He said he believes he is the third owner. The second owner was a car restorer and he restored it and had it in his collection. And then when he decided he was done with the car, he put an ad in the paper. This man picked up the ad and said he was pleasantly surprised to find this car in this condition. The 69 Riviera after restoration. We have a 1967 GTO. This car is all original, it's matching numbers. Things like batteries and hoses have been replaced, but it's essentially this is how the car would be. Period correct. Look at this. Really? No, really? Yeah. Come over here and get it from the back. <laughs> Got the truck open, got his cleaning supplies back there. It's the original paint. That is the correct paint for the car. Here's the interior on the 67 GTO. There we go. There's the back. Well, here's the seats now that I've adjusted the lighting. Here's the seats on that. Here's the interior. Here's under the hood on the 67 GTO. This is a numbers matching car. This is all original. Other than a battery and some hoses. This is it. And he, he added an air conditioner. He added AC, he said. got the the gumball machine on the top what's the year 58. this is a 1958 Chevy 58 Delray sedan delivery you said this is a Delray, Delray. Chevy Delray mm -hmm. sedan delivery, sedan delivery. Yeah. did they also turn these into ambulance as well no they're just uh, some of them were back then were utility cars. Some of them were made into ambulances or, or medical services. Not quite the ambulance, but it's a medical service. Medical service. Ambulances were more taller uh, roofs on them. He's got the back open here. There it is. And there's there's the in interior of the back. There's the dog dog. There it is. We have a 1950 like Chevy truck. You're too young, Bruce. Nah, I was working in the <clears throat> We'll get around it. The hood is up and the windows are down. And the owner says this is approximately a three owner vehicle. So they are number three. It is not a matching numbers vehicle. We'll get under the hood here in a second. Of course, the original wood has not survived. It's no, no. need. No, it's not. It's, it's been replaced. Okay. Here's the interior on the 1950 Chevy truck. He said the only thing original on the truck right now is the body. Here's under the hood. What kind are they? The 1950 truck. The Chevy. Not a matching numbers. There's DFW Camaros on here. Hashtag, but did you have fun is on the window. The racer's edge is on the wing. Is on the little duck bill on the back here. The racer's edge. There's a lot of detail under this hood. There's there's a lot of detail on these on these pieces here. Oh, I see. There's a mural under the hood of Elvira. 
That would be Elvira. No, I've always gone against my mom. 